Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome to episode 96 of Europa Universalis 4. Um, we are about ready to go to war with Milan. They have a lot of units around them. I don't think they're going to be able to do an awful lot to defend themselves. They don't even look like they are at full morale at the moment. And they are also in farmland. What I'm going to do is put a load of forced marching on, on these guys over here. And I am going to... Get this war started. So, let's have a look. What have we got coming in? Bohemia will come in. Holland, Ferrara, and Würzburg. Brandenburg will actually come in on our side. Fantastic. Let's declare war. So, we've declared war. You guys, you guys, you guys. You're all going in. You can go in there. You can move in there. You can move in there. And you guys can move in there. They're going to be almost completely carpet sieged uh, before they even get a chance to start. Now, I am going to just slow this war down to speed one. I don't like playing it on speed one. Well, that's not true. I like playing this game on speed one. It doesn't bother me. For me, I'm quite happy to play on a slow speed... Um, and go at a pace that I find comfortable. However, I know that a lot of you guys really get annoyed watching this game played really slowly. And that is perfectly understandable, you know? Um, so, this is one of the reasons why I do... When I feel comfortable with the way that a war is going, I will generally speed things up. But what I want to do for the meantime... Actually gained a ship there. What I actually want to do for the meantime is just be very, very careful. Uh, actually forgot... Let's pause here. We actually forgot to jump on Holland. Um, they're going to get out on the 3rd of March. They are going to um, Utrecht. Uh, which is fine. We can actually catch them. If we force March into Utrecht, uh, we won't get there first. Um, but we will... Um, we will catch them. Uh, you guys can also force March into Utrecht. Don't even think they're trying to get away at this point. Oh, I'm still paused. There we go. So we're going to go and try and siege out a lot of Holland if we can. So we do have to be relatively careful because, as we know, we do have the entire um, HRE on us in this fight. Although, it's not too bad. Uh, we've got Würzburg up there as well and Bohemia, which I think is mainly um, going to be dealt with by Brandenburg. So I'm not too bothered about that one. So let, let us worry about dealing with these guys down here. Now, they've just, Papal States have decided to go and um, sit in Trent. The Papal States don't have all that much. I could go and throw a lot of troops at them in the mountains. It's probably a really dumb idea. Um, Ferrara are against us as, as well. Why didn't you guys come in? Why won't you come in? Because your threatened attitudes towards France. Okay, that's fine. We'll take as much of this as we can. Bravaria, you want military access. Aren't you in the war against me? Oh no, that's... Um, Bohemia. Yep, you can have military access then, I suppose. Guess we could go over here and march into these mountains. These guys will probably get there first, which will mean we attack them in the mountains, which will be a little bit dumb. Yeah, they've actually um, decided to quit their move. We're just going to sit here in uh, Tyrrell for the time being. Could, Like I said, could dive on these guys in Trent, but it's probably a really, really dumb idea. What I am going to do is I'm going to detach a siege here, because we haven't really got too much to worry about from the south. So I'm going to detach a siege there. I'm going to go and kill these guys, and then we're going to siege out F uh, Ferrara, because they only have two provinces. If we can get them sieged out, then it's going to be a lot less to worry about. Maybe we can actually get an early peace with them and um, start doing some coring uh, before we actually uh, finish the war. Okay, looks like those guys are moving out of Trent. That's good. How are things going over here? Wow, there's a massive uh, Bohemian stack over here that I hadn't noticed. Um, you're going to go ahead and attack me in a marsh. Um, I'm fine with that. I'm going to turn off this forced march, actually. Which I shouldn't have had on. When are you going to arrive? On the 8th of April. Uh, 5th, 6th, 7th. Right, you can move in. You guys haven't all formed up yet, but you will do shortly. 
I should have enough guys there to take that. They are getting the penalty, of course. There we go. We have reinforced in time. We may actually lose that fight. And in fact, I'm, I've got plenty of money. I'm going to go in. And I'm going to build all the mercenaries just so we can go and um, try and sort these stacks out. A lot of units roaming around that I'm not fond of. And this is the reason why I don't generally do wars at full speed. Because it just becomes a pain. Uh, you're going into Lombardia. That is very interesting. Right, when did you arrive? On the 22nd of April. If you continue that move, I welcome it. Let's say we've got some more guys coming in from the north. Where are you going? You're getting into Trent on the 27th of April. So if I start marching you, when will you get there? 25th of April. You'll get there first. Right, you're getting in on the 22nd. 20th. 21st. Okay. One of our generals has died, which is a real pain. So you, detach, move in. You, detach, move in. You, detach, move in. Okay, let's see how long your stack lasts. They didn't get the penalty. We should get there with our leader soon. How long is it actually going to take you? 27th. Then you got to get... Yeah, we've got massive numbers there. So that was that was an easy win. Uh, let's just group... Um, won't let me group because it's just after the battle. Group, detach. And um, we're going to sit up in the mountains... Did we actually win this battle over here? Looks like we did. Only just. Um, obviously, we're going to be taking a fair bit of attrition there. Let's group those guys together. Got these stacks over here that are still forming. Remember, some of these are actually uh, mercenaries. Some of them aren't. We do have the cannons that are all supposed to be part of this group here. And we'll let the mercenaries form. Oh, ba Brandenburg came in. That's why we uh, didn't lose that fight. Brandenburg saw what was going on. And they decided to uh, to jump in and help out. What about you guys? You're going to arrive on the 6th of May in Tyrrell. Now, I can't beat you there, unfortunately. And this is Venice. I could very much go and just siege out the Papal States. That might not be a bad idea. I think we're going to do that. You guys can go in there. If you're just passing through, that's fine. Um, let's move you guys into Tyrol. If we catch them, it's not going to be the end of the world. I think we're generally going to do okay. Now, we're not going to be able to go and siege out uh, Venezia because we've got these Papal State fleets here, which are going to cause a problem there. What I could do, and what I should do, actually, it's really dumb of me for not doing so, is I should um, take the heavies here and unmothball them. And the heavies can just sit down there and just siege. Uh, those cannons are moving in. That will make that into a full 20 stack, which I am very happy about. So uh, group you guys together. So you guys, you can come up here and you can start sieging out Holland. You guys have got your forced march on still. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Because then you won't be... Uh, you'll actually start to regain something. You guys, it's three to one numbers. And there's a couple of Brandenburgian troops heading our way. So that's fine. Those guys are actually going north towards Brandenburg. So again, I'm happy with that. You guys are getting uh, super attritioned. So let's just split you up. Put half of you in Trent. We could go down and do something nasty to Venice. We might do. Certainly a plan for the future. I'm going to go up back to speed three now. I'm definitely going to try and keep my eye on things though. Because there's a lot of units moving around. And a lot of things that could just jump on us if we are not really, really careful. So we do have to be very, very map aware about what is going on. What are these ships they have here actually? They've just got a few, uh, a few galleys and a few lights. Uh, Milan have got a few ships as well, but I think all in all we should be able to deal with these and then we'll be able to go across and, and we're just going to take as much stuff as we can. We do have to be really, really careful with the aggressive expansion though. That That is the that is the problem that we're going to have. Um, looks like we lost a few ships in the English Channel, probably to uh, a Dutch fleet somewhere. Uh, Brandenburg have got some ships around as well. Um, how are things over here with the heavies? They're still only at 38%. Really should have thought about what I was doing and unmothballed them uh, a lot earlier on in this battle. That said, I don't really want them for sieging. I just like them so that I could uh, control the Gulf of Venice and then I could actually get some troops on to Venezia there. 
But we're pretty much carpet sieging everything out. Obviously, we're not carpet sieging Bohemia, uh, but Brandenburg are over there. Um, there's obviously a few more units coming in from elsewhere, but... Yeah, Venice don't have all that much either. Venice only have a couple of provinces. I'm surprised they have as many uh, many units as they do. Um, there's a lot of units roaming around on the map. Right? I'll, de I'll definitely say that. There's a lot of units roaming around on the map, which could potentially be a bad thing. But that said, um, I don't think it's going to be particularly bad. You can actually split and we'll move you over there now then. Um, Holland is Holland's actual capital, which is the one that's the important centre of trade. Um... It is actually Holland. Well, we're never going to be able to do that unless we can fully annex them, which could happen, possibly. Where are these guys going? These Bohemian troops uh, look like they're heading somewhere interesting. No, they've actually stopped there. Can we catch you? We did catch them. Wow, we had really, really low, low numbers. I actually thought we might get them there. Um... Uh, select army, the bigger army, force march on. I took a little bit of a risk because they got no morale and I thought, oh, I'll easily be able to get them and then, then I went and screwed it up. However, the, the best thing you can do is uh, go and lose more units in a pointless battle. So there's that. Um, so yeah, that didn't work out too well. Let's go ahead and... Um, build all the mercenaries again. We'll just keep spamming out mercenaries. We can do another religious conversion. Uh, invest in a new tech. We're still ahead of time. We're not capped yet on any points. These guys coming in might be problematic. Uh, we are short of a general. Um, can't really get one over here either, which is the problem. Well, that's fine. We'll let them take the engagement and then I'll just move everybody in. These sieges aren't really doing anything, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, how are my ships doing? 92%. About one more month and they should be done. So, right, you've jumped in as I thought you would. You guys can all jump in to reinforce. They've got the penalty, of course, because they've got, like, river crossings and all sorts of stuff. It is a shame that we don't have a leader. I hope we do have enough there to do something about them. And we are literally just going to try and siege out one province at a time now. Well, we're not actually. We'll, we'll split and do two provinces at least. Um, do we have anything else down here to worry about? Not particularly. Uh, getting close to the end of the month. Hopefully Brandenburg are going to just chase those guys down and stack wipe them. They are our mercenaries. Uh, you can go and stand up there in Friesland. That is that stack that got like obliterated so we'll move you back up over there and in fact you guys we will grab you another leader do we only have one leader now let's go and grab another one there we go quite nice so how many leaders do we have um military Four of four. Yeah, because we have our admiral as well. Okay, that's fine. Obviously, one of our other leaders must be in enemy territory. Brandenburg's doing some of the sieging out for us here, which is nice. Um, these sieges are going. I mean, like, really slowly, but they are going. Uh, are we being sieged on anything else further around? Let's, um... Oh, wow, yeah, we are actually being sieged down here in Malta. Not too bothered about that. If the Milanese want to just keep their army down there... In fact, they're black flagged. Which is very interesting. So those guys are contributing nothing to the war at all. GGAI. Um, let's go to um, this place. Right, I bet that's already being... No, it isn't. So we'll send our colonists there. Move in. And that will be Holland completely blocked off. Which is fantastic. And in fact... Um, of course we're at war with Holland. And our colonial uh, regions, our colonial uh, buddies over here are actually attacking Holland. Or uh, California anyway. Dutch California. So that is really, really good for us. Right, okay, those heavies must be done by now. Yep, they're all at 100%. Uh, this Milanese navy isn't really doing an awful lot. Let's go ahead and move you into the Gulf of Venice. One or two things is going to happen. The Papal States is going to get their navy sunk, or they're going to dock. Either way, we'll be able to get some guys across onto the... Um, onto Venezia there. Brandenburg is still... Uh, tramping around with a massive, massive troop, uh, group of troops there. 
So we should be okay. I still got to keep my eye open up here in the north because this is where the the problems um, tend to happen. Uh, but now I'm much happier now there's a Brandenburgian um, army up there. Let's go ahead and build another standard 20. We can do because we're still like 80 men below our uh, force limit. Which is fine. Uh, you guys don't need to have your forced march on. I've got a lot of guys. Oh, brilliant. Nice. Gain one stability and five prestige. Uh, I've got a lot of guys standing around who aren't actually doing anything. And in fact, you could probably just go and um, siege out Venice, I suppose. Can't actually walk through Austria, so we can't get to uh, Istria. But we can certainly um, siege out Fruli. Uh, so we're getting a few sieges here that are over. Oh, where's our navy gone? These guys have got nowhere to dock. Get round there and see if you can catch them. Um, actually, no, they could just dock in one of these places, which they probably will. Um, let's leave the Papal States one for a while. Let's sit over here. What have they got? They've got... Um, go away. Uh, they've got a couple of heavies, seven lights, mostly galleys and a few transports. If we sit all of our heavies here and just wait... Um, for them to get pushed out because it won't take too long and in fact if I grab these guys and move them down we should win this siege very very quickly and then these guys will get pushed out and they should just get absolutely obliterated so that'll be quite nice in the meantime let's have a quick look up north and make sure nothing nasty is happening nope we seem to be good so we're certainly starting to take a bit more of a chunk out of Milan I don't think I'll be able to grab all of them in one uh don't think I'll be able to grab all of them in one war, sadly. But it's never stopped me from trying. Let's just move you guys back up into Trent, just so you're not taking all that attrition. There we go. They got pushed out. And, um... Do we not have an Admiral? My Admiral is actually on the wrong fleet somehow, somewhere. Um, let's group you guys together. Yeah, we actually won that battle with ease. Uh, you guys can move out to there. You, Doc, where is our, our Admiral? Is he with the mothballed fleet? Wait, way to get out of doing anything useful. Let's go ahead and um, no leader the Admiral there. Uh, almost kept out on admin points, so got to be careful. Uh, you gained yourself a uh, galley. I'll keep the galley around for now because we are just about to go and um, fight in a uh, in a sort of shallow sea. Um, Friesland's um, uh, navy has actually just been pushed out, so let's just go around there. But sorry, Ferrara's uh, navy because when they um, oh, run the siege of Verona, and Venice have got a few ships around as well. And if they tr yeah, they've docked down here in um, Romanga, but as soon as that flips and they get pushed out of there, they're going to take even more losses. So it's all good stuff. want to try and siege as much as I can from Holland if possible, because I want to try and grab some stuff from them. Brandenburg are pretty much protecting me up the top, so I don't mind that too much. Right, we didn't quite catch that uh, navy. Right, lose 50 ducats. Yeah, local defensiveness. We always choose those. Yeah, Venetian ships got away. Uh, these guys aren't going to. They are completely bent, penned in. Their only option is to do what they have just done, and that is to just go and park up. So we're going to detach a siege there, and you guys are going to move in and siege out. Bit of a crappy composition, I know, but it will be enough to get the job done. Um, you guys ha uh, have got the job done, so out you come. You can stay around just in case you need to reinforce anything. Uh, I think what we want to do... Um, Lombardia is their capital, which we're not going to be able to take. At the very least, we want to try and take these three provinces here because it'll connect Pisa up with Nice. So we'll have more coast and we'll actually be able to... Um, uh, we'll actually have some continuous land. That's probably the best option, really. So we've still got a few more sieges and things to go there. Brandenburg are doing a great job of sieging stuff up here. Holland's going to take a little while. Um, these guys will... As soon as these guys are finished, I'll move to Utrecht and I'll split the stack and then go and move the rest to East Frisia. And that should sort that job out there. Uh, that Siege of Romanga is over, which means that it's going to force out the fleet, and indeed it has. Uh, that should get sunk completely. We've gained another ship. This time around, we've gained a transport. Not all that useful. Now, this ship's not going to do an awful lot apart from help us with the blockade, but it will actually allow us to... Um, Oh, we do have some units coming... Oh, no, your uh, your 
white flagged. Well, I'm going to go and move these guys over there just in case uh, they tend to come this way. And uh, as soon as this place flips, they'll get pushed out. So we might be able to take some stuff from the Papal States as well. We've won the Siege of Zealand. So as promised, let's take these guys. Let's move into Utrecht and wipe out that uh, poor Dutch bastard standing there on his own with no friends. 11 noble regiments, gain some local autonomy or lose 33 diplo. We are going to get the 11 noble regiments because we can deal with them quite easily. We are capped on our admin power. Do we want to take the tech? We'll grab it anyway. I did want to save it for coring. We are ahead of time. Uh, sorry, we are um, ahead of time, but it'll do. Right, where are our rebels? You're over there. You actually spawned where my men were standing. GG. In the mountains as well. So, not worried about that. So, we're doing very, very well on this war. Still a lot of Austrian units moving around. But there's still a little bit of a way for the war to go yet. You guys have finished there. You can move in and help. But I think that's probably a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. Like I said, I'm probably only gonna, going to go up to episode 100. Because when the expansion comes out in a few days' time, um, it's pretty much going to break the save game. And I've got to stop somewhere. We, we're quite nearing the end of the game. It will be a shame that we won't get there. But there were a few unexpected wars. But we shall carry on the best we can and see see how much damage we can do. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4 and I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.